Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Mining Insider. I want to begin by wishing you and your family happy holidays and a happy, healthy and safe new year going into 2022. Today, I want to share with you how I'm able to get the T-Rex Miner plugin working back in NiceHash so I can use T-Rex Miner as a native miner within the NiceHash Miner. This has probably been the number one request we've gotten from our viewers this year, and we have a solution that seems to work great now. So if you haven't already subscribed, smash down on that subscribe button. Stick with me. Let's get started. Looking at the NiceHash website, there's a blog post dated May 4th of 2021. And it says T-Rex plugin temporarily disabled for new installs in NiceHash Miner. If we read their reasoning behind it, it says, Dear NiceHash users, T-Rex has been suspended by GitHub for unknown reasons, and they are requesting users to download from their server instead. We do not know the reasoning behind this. And at NiceHash, we are always cautious of software from anonymous authors. Therefore, we will temporarily be disabling the plugin for new installations in NiceHash Miner. We are aware that this is a popular miner, but unfortunately we are not responsible for their software and cannot guarantee its safety under the circumstances. If the situation is cleared up, we will review it again. It's been over seven months since NiceHash posted this original blog update disabling the plugin within NiceHash, and T-Rex has established themselves back within GitHub. I've been using the T-Rex miner to mine in Windows as well as Hive OS, and I know a lot of you do too. We are aware as miners of the inherent risks of using mining software, as well as to be responsible about keeping our private and personal information confidential, as well as the risks involved. But going back to NiceHash, the interesting part about this blog is really what's in the second paragraph. You can still install the plugin manually if you wish to, but be aware that NiceHash holds no liability for its use. We advise you not to run this on the computer with any sensitive information if you still choose to use it. So that's great. NiceHash gave me the green light to install and run that plugin. The problem is they just never gave any instructions on how to do it. T-Rex is one of my favorite miners. So this became my mission, my quest, figuring out how to enable the T-Rex miner plugin within NiceHash so I can run T-Rex natively within NiceHash and I don't need to run a batch file anymore. For my demonstration today, I'm gonna to be using NiceHash Miner version 3.0.69. And this is a clean install I just did today. And I'm gonna click on the plugins tab. In the plugins tab, you'll see a list of different plugins that are available on this miner. So there's everything from GCUDA Miner, LOL Miner, and Nano Miner, Excavator. There's a lot of them here, but there's no mention of T-Rex in here whatsoever. So we're gonna to work to change that pretty quick. I can grab an existing plugin that I have in. So I'm gonna look at MB Miner, which is also one of my favorite miners. Let me click on the triple ellipsis and I'm gonna click show internals. When I click show internals, this is gonna open up a file explorer showing me the location where NiceHash holds this miner plugin. From a NiceHash to talk to any miner, whether it's excavator or LOL miner, it needs to talk to it via a plugin. So NiceHash will communicate with LOL miner through the plugin. It will communicate with NB miner through the miner plugin for NB miner. So in this case, we're seeing MP, I believe, which stands for minor plugin for NB minor DLL. And this is the location and some internal information you can see that it has to configure the different miners. And we have one for, this would be NB minor. If I look here, this is LOL minor. So there's a few of them here. And this is one here for even excavator. Again, there's no mention of T-Rex in here at all. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to go to the parent folder NB Miner 3069, and I'm going to go to Plugin Packages. Here, I'm going to find a file called T-Rex underscore V16 underscore MP Toolkit V1, and it's going to have some long number dot zip. So there's a zip file here that has the Miner plugin for T-Rex. So I'm going to highlight just the alphanumeric part after the MP Toolkit V1. I just want to highlight that because that's actually the ID that NiceHash uses to associate with the Miner. Then I'm going to go back to my parent folder and go back to the minor plugins. Now, once I'm in here, I'm just going to create a new folder. I'm going to name it the same name as what we just copied back from the end of that file. I'll put a copy of that in the description down below if you want to just quickly copy it too. So now we just created a new folder, but our new folder is empty. It doesn't have anything. It's not going to do anything. So we have to add the minor plugin here. So what I'm going to do is go back to plugin packages. And in here where I find my T-Rex V16 MP toolkit, my minor plugin zip file, I'm just gonna open it and I'm just going to copy that file and I'm going to go back one, 
back one. And I'm going to go back to minor plugins to this 03 F805 folder that we created that's empty. And just paste this DLL file in here. So mp.trex.dll. So that's great. That's there. Now, before I do anything else, let me close NiceHash. And I'm going to reopen NiceHash. It's cross-referencing the minor IDs, cross-referencing NB minor. Oh, now I have a new pop-up window. Disclaimer for use for third-party software. So I have T-Rexes listed now as an optional plugin. I am going to click on accept. Nice hash has to restart. Crossing my fingers. <laughs> I already know the outcome of this one though. Now when we come in, if I go to the plugins tab, I see T-Rex is listed. Although it's grayed out, it's not giving any details about the miner. It doesn't have any of the version numbers and stuff showing for it at this time. If I click on the show internals to see what's inside the T-Rex folder now, wow, this is the folder that we put the T-Rex plug in, mptrex.dll. But now it has an internals folder and it has configuration information for the internals as well as it has the bins information. And within here, look, this is the T-Rex miner just downloaded. Now, if I go to benchmarks, I have a single RTX 3070 graphic card in my computer. And wow, look at this though. Now I see algorithms and miners. Now I have T-Rex for Kapow, T-Rex for Dega Hashimoto, which is Ethereum, and then T-Rex for Octopus. So for now, I'm only interested in T-Rex for Dega Hashimoto. So no custom algorithm settings or anything specified, just plain. Let's just come in here and let's start up this miner. Let's see if we can get T-Rex running. I have been able to get a successful benchmark value out of the T-Rex miner within NiceHash. This is really, really exciting. The only thing I notice is my speed is low. So keep that in mind. I'm recording on this computer. I have a webcam, I have a microphone, so I'm gonna be getting lower performance. But my goal of being able to get T-Rex enabled back with NiceHash, it seems like it's going great. Now, for the moment of truth, let's go to the dashboard and let's start up this miner. For the miner plugins, I see T-Rex.exe, and the first line, T-Rex, NVIDIA GPU Miner version 0.19.12. I am running the T-Rex Miner natively now within NiceHash. Now, 0.19.12 is not the latest version of T-Rex. This is, I believe, is the last version that NiceHash had supported natively within the Miner at the time when they stopped supporting it. I have the T-Rex plug-in. Seems to be working right now. My stratum seems to be correct. My user which is my wallet is pointing correct, and it's building the DAG. While I'm waiting to get some status messages in, if I scroll back to NiceHash, if I go to my devices, I see it's showing for my GPU, it's showing T-Rex is mining Ethereum, DAG Hashimoto. I'm getting my regular metrics that I would see here. Now T-Rex is showing back as a native miner. This is incredible, and I am so excited and happy about this. This opens up the doors for so much potential going forward, being able to get this miner back natively within NiceHash. I see my first status messages coming in. I see some shares being mined. I am really, really excited. This is a big, big, big game changer for me and my nice hash mining. Up till now, I've been really limited to just using NB miner. Although we're using an earlier version of the T-Rex miner, getting this door pried open and getting this plugin enabled is just to me, it's a huge step forward for us miners. It opened up the door for many, many more options going forwards. Up till now, I've been limited to using miners like NB Miner, which is great, and it has a lot of new functionality, like the built-in overclocking and stuff. We've covered them in videos, so please check out our channel. But being able to come into the nice hash and just start up a miner and see T-Rex starting up, I was just so excited. I was blown away by it. The only limitation I see, and it's a big limitation, is the support version within NiceHash is T-Rex GPU Miner version 0.19.12. Now 0.19.12 was before we had LHR cards. It was before we had the built-in overclocking, dual mining, so many other features. So there's a lot of features that T-Rex Miner has that is not incorporated in this version. If you follow our channel, you know we love to swap Miner plugins and do different things, as we've shown in the past, upgrading NB Miner within NiceHash. T-Rex is different because the communication protocol between the T-Rex Miner plugin as well as the latest T-Rex miners like 24.7 and 24.8, they don't work. So if I try to replace T-Rex miner 24.7 or 24.8 in here, the miner just crashes. Let me show you. So from the latest T-Rex 24.8, I'm going to grab the T-Rex executable. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to replace the one here. So I replaced T-Rex EXE with the latest one. So now I put a copy of 24.8 in the nice hash in the plugins folder. However, now when I try to run it, it's gonna crash. And that's because the communication protocol 
between the T-Rex Miner plugin and NiceHash is not compatible with the latest version of T-Rex Miner. The communication protocols between the two have changed, so they do not work anymore. That's unfortunate because there's a lot of great features like LHR, the overclocking technology that I really loved about the T-Rex Miner in the newer versions. Although the later versions of T-Rex Miner, like 24.7 and 24.8, that have the best LHR technology as well as the built-in overclocking are not working currently within NiceHash using the T-Rex Miner plugin. That doesn't stop us. We strive to be a solution channel, try to be creative and innovative. And we're putting a lot of time, energy, and resources to try to find ways to work around this. And the good news is we've developed a custom Miner plugin adapter that enables us to run the T-Rex Miner 24.8 natively within NiceHash. And this gives me access to the latest LHR unlock technology, as well as the built-in overclocking features that are built into T-Rex Miner. We're extremely excited about the progress we're making on this, and we can't wait to be sharing this with you. We're going to begin beta testing this very, very shortly. It's going to be available exclusive to subscribers of our channel. So if you haven't already subscribed, it's not too late. Smash down on that subscribe button so you receive notification as well as access to our custom adapter that will enable you to run the T-Rex 24.8 within NiceHash. Now that I have the T-Rex Miner running again natively within NiceHash, I don't want a chance losing it. So once I've gone through these steps, I have the plugin enabled, it's downloaded all the files, and it's working okay. I went to my downloads folder where I have my NiceHash Miner installed, and I purposely make a backup of it. And I encourage you to do the same thing too. Once you have T-Rex Miner and all the additional files downloaded that's supported by it in NiceHash, Make a backup of it in case NiceHash pulls back on their support for T-Rex going forward in the future. At least we'll hopefully we'll have the necessary files downloaded to be able to work around it and be able to keep T-Rex in NiceHash. I've really enjoyed making this video and sharing my journey with you, how I was able to get the T-Rex Miner running natively within NiceHash again, as well as the progress we're making on using even newer versions of the T-Rex Miner natively within NiceHash that include LHR unlock and built-in overclocking. Wow, what a way to finish up 2021. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up like, smash down on that subscribe button if you haven't already. We welcome all your questions and comments. Please put them down below. From my family to yours, we wish you a happy, healthy, and safe holidays and New Year's going into 2022. Happy mining!